Hello people, uh, how's it doing today? Before I start this video, I just want to say uh, thank you to Neve Smith, the local TD for Calvin and Martin, Vinny Paul, TD for Calvin and Martin, for raising this uh, issue with me and with the general public because I didn't know um, about these schools. And you know, this school I'm going to talk about here, um, I know very well. So just bear with me for a second. So CLAO is a program for, excuse me, for health and safety outside, you know, at the entrances of the schools and around the school buildings. Um, and, you know, basically funding for that and, you know, different um, extra funding, I suppose, for schools, uh, for safety stuff and what's that crack. So obviously that's under the Department of Rural and Community um, Development. Excuse me, I keep open. Um, so obviously the schools I'm talking about, there's four or five schools in Calvin that are affected. Uh, one of them I'm very, very, you know, I went to this school, I went to National School here, Bally Hayes National School in County Cabin. and obviously I know that very well. Um, obviously, the, it was a, when I was growing up, there was, I'm going to say this, it was, um, it was very bad, like we didn't have anything, we could stand out in the world, you know, there was not, there was no safety barriers or nothing, and, you know, when the car parked, there was no safety barriers, you could just walk out onto the road, now there's a safety barrier, but it's extra funding, you know, for WAPs and different things like that. And for around the school yard, you know, extra safety equipment and extra, or an extra fund for different things like that too. And obviously, King and Care National School too. Um, I don't know much about King and Care National School, um, and different national schools around Calvin. Um, so obviously, you know, I'm sure Neve Smith will push it, and obviously, ask the minister for, uh, rural rural affairs and uh, community, um about it and he obviously said you know there's no funding we can't fund all the schools and you know that's the typical thing to give out so we can't fund everything um but you know hopefully uh, as he said i'm not going to give out to michael wing um obviously he used to be independent um he's not a full-on phoenix support i'm sure um but you know he said you know in the future maybe next year maybe they might be able to you know squeeze a bit into it but um i just wanted the ways to be honest because she she said and even smith has said it um, she said it. I didn't even know about this thing. Like, it looks very bad at me that I didn't know about my the national school we used to go to that they didn't get, you know, this funding that other schools have gotten. Calvin, um, I just didn't know. I didn't know. Nobody told me anything about it. So that's how I just was in the dark for a long time. Only found out there. But um, hopefully they will get it. They like hopefully they will get it. Um, because I think there's only five national schools in Calvin not getting it. And, you know, probably the bigger schools get it for, so obviously Bally Hills would be not a big school. I don't know about Kill and Care, but I say Kill and Care is a small national school. Can't remember um how many people like he looked at national school figures a few weeks ago and it just it's gone out of my head. Um but yeah, just wanted to say that. Um hopefully it'll be sorted out. Anyway, take your watch, subscribe for more and bye.